Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation, family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo. But you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see pricing and more information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2010 Jayco Melbourne 26A with 46,767 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2010 Jayco Melbourne 26A. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan, as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. All the RVs go through the same inspection process. We're going to go through a demo with you at the time of sale and answer any questions you may have. Got a mix of hard surface flooring and carpet in here. This is a slide out. So this whole wall portion slides out here. Going to give you more room inside the coach when you're camping and open up the floor plan a lot. This will jackknife out to make a sleeper. We've also got our mattress back here. There's another slide out in the very back there that makes this a walk around mattress. Makes it easier to get in and out of, easier to make. We have a DC powered exhaust fan or a fantastic fan or a max air fan as it's commonly called up here in the front. One here in the back in the bedroom area and there's one inside of the bathroom area that's here that we'll check out here in a little while. This is gonna bring the cool outside air in. If you have the windows open, it's gonna act like an air conditioning system in a boondocking situation where you're not able to plug in and run the air conditioner on the roof. Our air conditioner is right here. It's gonna blow out of the ducts that are around in different spots on the ceiling to help distribute the cool air. This is a TV antenna crank. The air conditioner, the furnace, everything's controlled through the thermostat here, just like it's your house. Nice, easily accessible entryway. Got some different switches. Gonna have one for your power step. A little light down here. This is a noxious gas detector. This is a furnace duct. So the furnace will blow the heat out around the floor in different areas where you see those ducts throughout the coach. We've got AC power here, so you can plug things in. Different light switches. Got a screen door handle there to help you get up and in. This is our command center here. Got a start stop switch for our generator, slide out control for the front slide out, some different levels testing. The levels test for the holding tanks are notoriously finicky, so do not consider those gospel. We have our water heater on off. This runs on propane and ignites itself. We also have an option for electric powered water heater here. This is for the water pump that will pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank to your sinks, shower, or toilet. Got a hood light and fan, three burner propane cooktop. We've got a convection microwave oven. Got a nice big basin here on the kitchen sink. Got a window with a screen portion here on this side. furnace duct there. Different compartments here for some storage in your kitchen area. Got a nice prep space here. Some good countertop room. Got four drawers just like so. The top one has dividers in it for your silverware. And here's that jackknife sofa. There's a table beneath that that you can pull out and put here in the floor. There are three seat belts beneath the couch, two up front, so a total of five belts in this motorhome. Got a screen portion here on this side. Some lights there. We have a two-way fridge freezer. This is a two-way, meaning it runs on propane gas or AC power, meaning our shore power plug-in or the generator. I'll leave that in the auto setting. It'll do what it needs to do to stay cool as long as you have the appropriate fuel. 
Moving now towards the center of the coach. Got our bathroom area in the middle. Medicine cabinet here. Got AC power for your curling iron, hair dryer, whatever you need there. Got a switch here for tank heaters. If you have questions about cold weather camping, ask us at the time of sale. That's a water pump switch. So you can turn that on and off here in the bathroom area if you need to wash your hands. Flipping you around now to the driver's side. This door can lock in here like this to block off the front area to create two different zones here in the motorhome. Nice, easily accessible stool. It's a porcelain stool. Not much of a step up and into the shower. Got the skylight for more headroom. Glass shower enclosure. Got some different light switches here. We also have a fantastic fan overhead in the bathroom area. Gonna help get you ventilation in there when you need that. We've got a curtain we can slide across here for more privacy. So another way you can create different zones here in this motorhome. So somebody can be here in the back taking a nap. Somebody can be up front watching TV or reading the paper. Nice walk around mattress. So this slide out here moves out with the push of a button. That button's right here, different light switch. Got some reading lights. Got AC power there by the bedside. It's nice for different things you might wanna plug in during the night. It's got a clock plugged in there right now. Got another fantastic fan. Got the little windows with screen portions. On the lower, so you can get some good air flowing here while you're laying in bed. Got our fire escape. You can pull the curtain down here for privacy. Nice big mirrors on our wardrobe. Lots of room to hang clothes. Two very big drawers. Got a TV back here you can get behind to access your different connection points for that. Another nice big wardrobe here with that mirror. We got a furnace duct back here. It's going to help keep you warm back here in the bedroom. The Jackknife sofa bed measures approximately 64 inches north-south or front to back and 42 inches east-west or side to side. The mattress measures approximately 60 inches north-south or front to back and 75 inches east-west or side to side in the RV. Here we are standing in the back of the motorhome. How do billboards communicate? Sign language. Got about 77 inches of headroom throughout the coach. Got a tiny little gash here on the linoleum, another little spot there. Not something you're gonna notice for the most part. They are there. Really nice clean upholstery up front. Some storage there. AC power, some of your TV connections. Got our TV here, manuals. So we got a nice unit here, nice floor plan. A little more space for extended adventures, but still under 30 foot. I'm gonna call this one an eight and a half out of 10. Check this out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt cruise, CD player with auxiliary in, USB, and Sirius satellite ready. Very nice clean upholstery. This is a power driver's seat. Passenger seat is manual. There's some speakers in the ceiling here in the coach part. It's gonna play whatever the driver and passenger are listening to up front. There's no cigarette lighter in here, so it's tough to say for certain. Not noticing any signs of smoking, so I'm gonna call this a non-smoker. We have a camera system here that has a dash cam that's facing forward, and your backup camera is gonna come up on this side. Here we are with the slide outs in. So this is what's gonna be like when you're traveling down the road, or if you'd like to just pull over and park without putting the slides out. Still access the bed, you can still sleep in it. You just can't walk around it. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2010 Jayco Melbourne 26A. 
This RV measures 29 feet bumper to bumper with a 15 foot manual awning. We have dual rear wheels with 4120 tire date codes. This motorhome is built on a Ford E450 chassis with a 6.8 liter V10 engine with 46,767 miles. Got a very nice looking exterior on this one. Got a power step. It's gonna come out when you open the door. Got a handle to help you get up and in. This is our exhaust over top of the cooktop, back of our refrigerator, back of our water heater, furnace exhaust. It's our propane tank. It's mounted to the unit, so if you travel somewhere with the RV to have that filled, you can turn it on and off with the valve there. Got more storage down here, AC power in the back of that box there. If you'd like to have power out here on this side of the coach, this is to connect to propane for a grill or something like that. Got more storage. Got a ladder for rooftop access. Backup camera, we have a tow package. And a really nice looking exterior. Got some water from being outside before I was able to get this video shot. Got your shore power cord there. Little converter on the left, AC power, TV in. Sewer hose storage often does not get used. We've got our sewer drain. Black and gray are both gonna come out of here. So black's over here, gonna do that first, then your gray over here to rinse that clean. Fuel fill, that will run the engine and the generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank. Got a slide out here. This is a five foot slide. And we have a six foot slide out here in the front. Both of them have slide awning toppers. You're not gonna sit beneath these awnings. It's gonna prevent sticks and other debris from getting in here and compromising the slide seal. Got some knobs here you can use to adjust different flows for your water system. Got an outside shower. It's nice for kids, pets, going to the beach, keep the mess out of the camper. Got a black tank flush on the left and city water connection on the right. The city water will provide the pressure from the hose. Two coach batteries. It's our generator exhaust. And we have our generator here. Really nice looking unit here. Check this out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Oh,